Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now you can pick this up at apple.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, TGH. And if you don't know what that means, that's too get damn high. But just like any other product from Apple, you gotta pay to play, so let's play. Now for 64 gigs, you're looking at 1,100 bucks. For 256 gigs, you're looking at 1,250 bucks. And for 512 gigs, you're looking at 1,450 bucks. Now everybody knows all the specs by now, so let's just do a quick recap. The phone is available on all your carriers. Comes in four different colors. You got space gray, silver, gold, and midnight green. For the display, you got a 6.5 inch Super Retina XDR OLED panel with a resolution of 1242 by 2688. Now that's 458 for the PPI Patrol. The phone is IP68, dust and water resistant, with glass on the front, glass on the back, and the stainless steel trim. Now you're getting the Apple A13 Bionic chipset with Apple's GPU. For the battery, you got a 3,969 milliamp battery that features 18 watt fast charging. Now Apple claims you can charge your phone from zero to 50% in 30 minutes. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So three 12 megapixel lenses, one is f1.8, that's your wide angle, one is f2.0, uh, that's your telephoto, another one is f2.4, that's your ultra wide angle. On the front, you got a 12 megapixel f2.2 with a 3D time of flight lens. Now you're also getting Bluetooth 5.0, Apple's version of NFC, Wi-Fi 6, you got dual speakers that feature Dolby Atmos, face unlock, arguably the best face unlock in the game, wireless charging, and audio sharing. Now audio sharing means you can connect two pair AirPods to the same iPhone. All right, so what's missing from my flagship checklist? No fingerprint sensor, no always on display, no headphone jack, and no expandable memory. All right, so it is what it is. Let's unbox this and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. White I shoes, white calm shoes. down. All right, here we go. iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, on the side note, I gotta let y'all in on a little secret. I actually ordered all three iPhones, all right? So I was planning on unboxing the Pro Max, the Pro, and the iPhone 11. But check this out. Apple made a mistake and sent me two iPhone Pro Maxes. Believe it or not. You see for yourself, both 256 gigs. Now, I did order Midnight Green for the Pro, but they sent a Pro Max. So, shout out to Apple. I'm keeping this one. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, here we go. <laughs> I know, I finally got a win from Apple after all these years of taking L's. Here it is. Now, this time, you got the black box. Okay, so you got a nice black box. Giggity. With the gold iPhone on the front iPhone on the back, let's see, like I said, 256 gigs, I'm broke. Here it is. Okay, so inside, <laughs> here's your iPhone. Whew. Now, this got the matte feel on the back. Hold up, look at this. Wow. Check this out. Now, this is my first time seeing this in person. This has that matte look to the back. Oh, I'm feeling that. Hold up, let me see something. Here's my 10s Max with the glossy back. Now you got matte, so no fingerprints on this. Oh, I like that. I like that. All right, let's see what else you get. Got your Apple Troll stickers, SIM ejection tool, usual books and shit, pluck them and file them. Here's your 18 watt fast charging brick. You got your Apple headphones, all right, classic style. Let's see, this is our lightning adapter. And this is gonna be your lightning adapter cable. And that's pretty much it. No dongle in the box. It is what it is. Okay, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, I don't know how I feel about these three cameras on the back. Just like other Apple products, I usually don't like them at first, but then after a while, they tend to grow on you, so I see that same thing is probably gonna happen with this one. Let's see, power button. Now, we still got the George Jefferson hairline. All right, we got the big notch. On this side, you got volume up and down. There's your vibrate on and off. Top is nice and clean. Bottom, speakers, lightning adapter. On the back, triple camera setup. 
dual camera setup on the front pretty much it let me get a little wipe down on this all right there's your george jefferson airline still in effect it is what it is hola now i gotta say whew, this one feels so good in the hands ladies you know the procedures i am loving this matte finish on the back oh this is sick this is sick all right well since i'm keeping this one might as well let's see how the uh midnight green version looks right Woo! yo i hold up let me do the smell test on this mm! this one smells like money all right the midnight green this is the new color right here now i will say this i uh, at first when i seen the box in the mail i was kind of disappointed i was like all right apple kind of messed up my flow i planned on doing three separate videos but in all in all honesty for the last three well, not last three years for the last year this been in my pocket for the last year the left the, the big boy the small one and the peasant iphone i usually walk around with all three of these iphones and this is the one that i use the least all right, the smallest one, I hate the size of this one. I got big fat fingers. I can never really type on this one. So I'm actually kind of glad that they sent the wrong one because if you do a size comparison, these are exactly the same size. I just got iPhone uh, 10s Max, same size. But this matte feel on the back, yo, this is lit. All right, this is everything right here. Let's see, a matter of fact, iPhone 10R. Yeah, the Max is, uh, Max. The Pro Max is a little bit bigger. Okay, a little bit wider. Giggity. And here's your iPhone XS. The small one that I actually hate. The Pro Max is a lot bigger. Okay, so, let me pause the video real quick. I'll drop my information in, get everything all set up. Then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I'm going to keep this video short and sweet because I do plan on doing a full review on this. And when I say full review, I mean a movie. Y'all remember the Galaxy Note 10 Plus movie? I won an Academy Award for that. I'm doing the same thing on this phone. We're going to tear it apart from top to bottom. I'm going to win an Oscar. So if there's anything y'all want me to cover specifically, leave it in the comments and I'll make sure I run through it. But I will say this. If you got an iPhone XS Max and you upgrade into the 11 Pro Max, you're going to love it. Everything that you could do on the 10s Max, you could do on the Pro Max, plus more. So if you're into color choices, you got a new color on deck. If you're into build quality, now you're getting that matte feel. And I gotta say it, this phone feels so dope. I love the build quality, it's crazy. You're getting another camera, so you're getting wide angle. You're getting that dark theme. Let me turn this on real quick. Check out the dark theme. All right, I'm feeling that dark theme with the messages. I need that. You're getting better battery life. The display is beautiful. All right, you see it, I got on max brightness. It looks crazy. It's basically an upgrade. But I will say this. <laughs> if you're coming from a Galaxy phone, then you're going to have a, a different experience. All right, there's a lot of things that you got used to doing on your Galaxy phone that you can't do on your iPhone. Now, I'm not going to spoil the movie, but I'll just throw a few out there real quick. No split screen multitasking. No always on display. No fingerprint sensor. We can go down the list. I will go down the whole list. But if you're heavy into iPhones, this is the phone that you want. Now, I wasn't sold on the three camera look on the back. This is my first time holding the phone in my hands. The last couple of weeks, I've been looking at it online. I've been bashing the design. I really hated it. But when you see it in person, it doesn't look as big and goofy <laughs> as it does online. It actually looks pretty good. All right, now I'm not gonna say it looks the best, but it doesn't look stupid. All right, it doesn't look stupid. It's definitely gonna grow on you, and it's gonna grow on you in a couple of minutes. Now, real quick, I wanna show you something. Let's pull up a, let's pull up a video so you can check out this uh, display and the speakers. All right, check this out. Now watch this beautiful display and listen to these speakers. Easily some of the best sounding speakers in the game. This display is beautiful. Cover up the bottom, you still got the top. You can feel the bass on the speakers. 
Yeah, you got a little notch, but you got to deal with it. This is sick. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera, and I want to show you one of the dopest features of the iPhone, the face unlock iPhones make the best face unlock in the cell phone business. These are work with your glasses on, your sunglasses, if you bald and you grow a mustache or a beard, these will work 100% of the time, daytime, nighttime, rain, snow, whatever you throw at it. The more you use this, the face unlock works the best. And I got a bunch of phones, some of them don't work when I put on my sunglasses, some of them don't work at nighttime. The iPhone face unlock, now I'm doing this from behind the camera with the lens blocking half of my face, and it works. Best face unlock in the game. Take it over to the camera. All right, so now you got your new wide angle lens. Check that out. So you got zoom, regular, and wide angle. Let's go through some of the different modes. You got time lapse, slow motion, you got videos, photos, Portrait mode, one of the best portrait modes in the game. Got a bunch of different lighting settings, and you got panorama. Now, of course, you can shoot video 4K, uh, 4K, 60 frames per second, and wait till y'all see my video test. One of the things that you can't deny about iPhones, they have some of the most stable video. All right, now, if you making YouTube videos or doing your little vlogs, whatever you do, and you don't have an official camera, use your iPhone, it's gonna look sick. Now, a lot of people see my daughter's videos and they ask me what camera did I buy for her to make the videos. She's using an iPhone. No fancy camera or nothing. All right, so iPhones have one of the best video cameras in the game. But like I said, the face unlock on this, this is why I love it. Now, I wish they would have had a fingerprint sensor. So when I got my phone on the table, I could just open it like this because you can't get your face unlocked like, you know, you can't, you can't face unlock while your phone is face down and they don't have a pattern. So if somebody's right over your shoulder, you got to put your pit in and they're going to be clocking you. You don't want to look like a douchebag going like this. Hold on a second. No, if I had a fingerprint sensor, I could just go like this. Pop it right open. But that's neither here nor there. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so I got five cases I want to show y'all all from Ghost Tech. You can pick them up on Amazon. I'll throw the links up in the description. The prices range from 15 to 40 bucks. First up, we got the Covert 3. Now this one's gonna run you 15 bucks. Drop tested, non-slip grip, limited lifetime warranty. All right, so you got your diamond grip, multi-layer technology, soft touch buttons, slim precise fit. Let's check this one out. Now I'll make this quick. Inside, of course, you got your Ghost Tech Troll stickers. Usual books and shit, plug them and follow them. Here it is. Now this is a nice one right here. Simple gel skin case, but you do have some Grippy, pill, uh, grippy pattern on the side. Let's slap this one on. Reinforced bumpers. All right, you see that red underneath there? Look at the razivity on this one. Nice amount, let's check that button. There's your buttons. Slam Boy certified. And of course, wireless charge on deck. This one is real nice. All right, so this is the Ghost Tech Covert 3, 15 bucks. Next up, we got the Cloak 4. Now this one's gonna run you 20 bucks. Drop test it, non-slip grip, limited lifetime warranty. Let's see, soft touch button, slim precise fit. Okay, follow all of that. Now this one, gel skin, but a little bit more protection. Look at the corners. You see how it's kind of raised up? All your buttons, all your cutouts. Red and white theme, I like that. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> this is, you feel that grip on the side? No, you can't feel it, but I feel it. <laughs> you feel the grip on the side. Hit that power button. There it is. Check the razivity. Slam Boy certified. Wireless charge on deck. I just activated the flashlight. This one has a nice feel to it. But most importantly, that grip. You can see it on the sides. Nice grip on this one. All right, let's keep it moving. Now, let's, matter of fact, I'll take them off so you can see how easy it is to take on and off. All of these cases pop right off. Next up, we got the exec, uh, the exec four. Now, this one's gonna run you 20 bucks. Now, this one has a four card, uh, four card wallet, 
military grade, limited lifetime warranty, drop tested, multi-layered. You got a detachable wallet and a magnetic mount. I had 20 bucks on this one. I actually never seen this one. Let's uh, check this one out. Flick of the wrist, more flick of the wrist. Okay, so matter of fact, we'll drop the phone on first. On the back, let's see. Let's uh, let's see how do we do this. Okay, you got a little card wallet right here. Drop all your cards in. Now I'm pretty sure this piece detaches. I'll play with that later. There's all your cutouts. Let's hit that button. Look how loud this phone is. <laughs> I love it. All your cutouts. Razivity on deck. Slam boy certified. Now I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to take this off for wireless charging. Yeah, let me pop this piece off the back. Okay, now check this out. This case is pretty sick. Now, I didn't want to break it, so I just looked at the pamphlet inside of the box, but watch this. This is a modular case. So you can slide this one off. They're going to sell different attachments. So when you want to wirelessly charge your phone, take that off, charge it up. If you're not going out, you can just rock the case like this. But as soon as you're getting ready to st uh, step out to the club, slap this on. Now you got your card wallet on the back. Oh, this is sick. Ghost Tech Exec. I'm feeling this one. And look how that slides off real fast. Slides right back on. Then you slide it off, you get another attachment. Have it as a wireless charger in your car. Have another attachment for something else. This is pretty slick. I don't like this one. Let's keep it moving. All right, Ghost Tech Exec. Next up, we got the uh, Nautical 2. Now this one's gonna run you 25 bucks. This is extreme proof, I had extreme proof. Drop tested, slim precise, non-slip grip, all your standard stuff. All right, let's see. Now, okay, wait a minute. Got a lot of stuff in this one. Now this one's gonna have back protection. Okay, troll stickers, got your little card. Got a little uh, microfiber cleaning cloth, little lanyard. Okay, and let's see how this one, now this is gonna be for your maximum protection, two-part style case. So let's slap the back on. Matter of fact, what do we slap the front on? Let's see, let's slap the front on first. Then we'll slap the back on. Okay, just line everything up. Oh, this is cool, this is easy installation. That's why I like doing this kind of stuff live. So you see how long it's gonna take. And check this out. Now you got screen protector on the front. I right, just some plastic, I'll peel that off. Protection on the back, all the cutouts line up. There's your buttons. This one is 100% Slam Boy certified. And of course, wireless charge. All right, Nautical 2. This is cool if you go into the beach. Now, even though your iPhone is already water resistant, you don't want to get salt water on any phone. So now you take this to the beach, slap this one on. Look at this, has protection on the bottom. All right, a little flap. That's gonna protect your lightning adapter. I got zero nails, so I can't even get that out. You can add this lanyard string if you want. This is pretty dope. Now, let's see. The question is, how hard is it to take off? Okay, get it in there. <laughs> Peel off the back. Pop out the front. And you're good to go. That's pretty dope. All right, so we got one more. Now, this is the most expensive one from Ghost Tech. We got the Atomic Slim 3. This one's gonna run you 40 bucks. This one has your aluminum frame, military grade, limited lifetime warranty, non-slip grip, multi-layered, drop tested, slim precise cutouts. This is my favorite one from Ghost Tech. Flick of the wrist, check this out. Now in the back, hard shell, right, not that flimsy plastic. You got your aluminum buttons, aluminum frame. Matter of fact, we'll do the green one on this one because I think this is how I'm rocking out for the rest of the day. Let's get a little wipe down. Woo! Check this one out. The best part about this case is these aluminum buttons. You're gonna love pressing them. This case gives your phone a, a nice extra bit of extra weight, an uh, extra bit of extra weight. <laughs> it's gonna give you some extra weight, but in a good way. Look how deep that camera's recessed. All right, so when you drop your phone on the table, you don't gotta worry about scratching up the lenses. Nice razivity on this. So a Slam Boy certified. The aluminum buttons working fine. Let's check while it's charging. No problems with that. This is a go. All right, this is my favorite one from Ghost Tech. 
All right, so let's wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, fresh out of the box, I'm giving the iPhone 11 Pro Max a major, major, major go. I am feeling this phone. All right, if you're looking for the best iPhone out, this is it. This is the big boy, this is the heavy hitter, this is the top of the food chain. Now, like I said, I'm doing a full movie on this, so if there's anything y'all wanna see specifically, any comparisons, any testing, hit me up in the comments and I'll make sure I cover it. But y'all know how I do. I'ma tear this phone apart from top to bottom, no fanboy shit. If I say I like something, that means I really like it. And if I don't, I'ma say it I don't. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention. Follow me on Instagram. I'm doing a giveaway for an iPhone 11 Pro Max. All right, Flossie underscore Carter. Hit me up on the gram and check out the details for yourself. You got to be in it to win it. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see you holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat poison lab. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock to beam up. Captain. Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the iPhone 11.